You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we're going to offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity along with the developments happening in and around the world. India is a diverse country with multiple religions and cultures conglomerated into a single form. Chhat Puja is an ancient Hindu festival celebrated commonly in the eastern states of Bihar, Jharkhand and Uttar Pradesh. Dedicated to the solar deity Surya, devotees show gratitude, worship the sun god for four days and pray for the well-being of their spouses and children. Let's take a look at this year's festivities. India is a diverse country with multiple religions and cultures conglomerated into a single form. The country has far larger festivals than practically any other country. We look forward to them all year because they are the best part of the year. People of all ages and economic conditions find ways to enjoy themselves with their families and worship the gods and goddesses. Indians recently celebrated Chhat Puja, a Hindu Vedic festival which is mainly observed in Bihar, Jharkhand, Uttar Pradesh and parts of Madhya Pradesh. It is a festival dedicated to Lord Surya and Chhati Maya and is celebrated for four consecutive days with great devotion. The rituals of the festival are arduous and are observed over a period of four days. The rituals are holy bathing, fasting and abstaining from drinking water called Nirjala Vrat, standing in water for long period of time and offering prasad and arg to the setting and rising sun. We <laughs> तो उस दिन तो हम लोग निराजल रह के शाम को मीठा चावल खाते हैं गुड़ के साथ और फिर दूसरे दिन निराजल रहते हैं शाम को अरगा दे शाम को शाम वाला जब अरगा होता है तो शाम को अरग देते हैं फिर सुबह तीस चौथे दिन सुबह अरगा देते हैं इसमें सब फल और बहुत साफ सफाई से काम किया जाता है Festivals are the oldest rituals and traditions that people practice to honor the almighty gods and goddesses in fact, these celebrations are nothing but the symbols of peace and happiness. This is why festivals draw a unique picture for the rest of the world to follow as a brilliant example of harmony. Chhat Puja is the holy Hindu festival or perhaps the only festival in the world in which the devotees pay homage to the rising and setting of the sun. The most unique feature of this festival is that there is no idol worshipping or murti pujan, unlike most of the festivals of Hindu religion. Some people simply opine that the sun is necessary for life, and this festival is a way to pay tribute to it, irrespective of caste, creed, gender, race, and social stigmas. <laughs> और छठ माता की प्रसाद की तैयारी करते हैं और शाम में घाट पे आते हैं पूजा पाठ करते हैं और मां से जो भी मांगना होता है वो हम मांगते हैं सूरज को अर्घ देते हैं और अपनी मनोकामनाओं की पूर्ति करते हैं और सच्चे मन से जो भी मांगता है छठ माता उसको देती हैं छठ पूजा इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन द 6th डे ऑफ द मंथ ऑफ कार्तिक अकॉर्डिंग टू द हिंदू लूना कैलेंडर द वर्ड छठ मींस 6th इन नेपाली मैथिली एंड भोजपुरी लैंग्वेजेस Women in India celebrate the six-day festival with singing, joyful celebrations and a riot of colour in their clothing, surroundings and cuisines. 
There is a belief in many parts of the country that just one individual is permitted to fast during the festival. Commonly, women keep fast on chhat, but men, though fewer in numbers, also do it. Devotees believe that if a woman observes this fast with complete faith and devotion, she will bloom in life. छठ मैया से यही मांग करी है कि इसी प्रकार हर साल उत्साह और उल्लास से छठ मनाते रहें और सभी भोजपुरी समाज के जो भाई बहन हैं सभी को छठ पर्व की बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं छठ पूजा बिगिन्स विद नहाए खाए द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ द फेस्टिवल व्हेन द डेविटी और व्रती टेक्स अ बाथ स्पेशली इन द गंगा The devotees cook religious meals, commonly pumpkin, bottle gourd, and moong chana dal. The devotee who is fasting for the festival eats the meal only once a day. The meal is prepared without any waste, and when it is ready, it is first served to the vrati and then to the other members of the family. Kharna marked the second day of the Chhat festival. On this day the person who keeps a fast cooks kheer and roti and offers the same to the deity as bhog Later the prasad is distributed among family and friends The third day of the festival signifies evening offerings or sandhya arg to the setting sun A basket made of bamboo sticks called dora is prepared and all the offerings including thekwa and seasonal fruit are kept in it In the evening the vrati and family members gather at the bank of the river or any other water body for puja Folk songs are sung and in the evening when the sun is setting vrati offers the sandhya arg and worships the sun god Ye parv pratham Bihar Jharkhand se aur North East ke shuru shuru hua आज सभी भारतवर्ष के हर क्षेत्र हर उत्तर भारत में ये बहुत ही धूमधाम से मनाया जाता है और इसके मनाने वालों की आज का ऐसा हो गया कि लंदन अमेरिका यूस सभी विश्व के हर कोने कोने में ये छठ पूजा बड़े ही धूमधाम से मनाए जाते हैं और इसे प्रकृति की पूजा भी बोलते हैं इसमें शुद्धता की बहुत ख्याल रखा जाता है और इस पाठ इस पूजा को दिनानुदिन बढ़ते जा रहे हैं और इसमें एक बहुत ही इस छठ पर्व का बहुत ही एक पहचान मिल गया है On the last day of the festival devotees make offerings to the rising sun at the river bank. On this day the devotees break their 36 hour fast resulting in the end of the festival. Chhat puja is one of the most important festivals celebrated in the country and one of the most toughest too. The festival is also celebrated by the large Indian diaspora living abroad. The fasting for 4 days is a ritual that is to be followed without fail by the women of the family celebrating the puja. And this is how Chhat Puja is concluded. Sufism places a strong emphasis on both silent and spoken prayers. Many Sufi groups still maintain religious centers throughout India, which has a rich and varied past. In Uttar Pradesh, the sacred shrine of Hazrat Sayyid Salar Masood Ghazi is one such religious place that has long served as a bridge amongst people of many beliefs. Take a look. An epicenter of faiths, a place where brotherhood and bonhomie between many religions have flourished and prospered. The dargah of Hazrat Sayyid Salar Masood Ghazi situated in a small town in Uttar Pradesh is one such melange of diversities the sacred place situated in Bahraich district witnesses a rush of devotees throughout the day whether one is a hindu muslim sikh or from any other community devotees come here to offer their prayers to the sufi saint who propagated the messages of righteousness and truthfulness It is believed that Sayyid Salar Masood or Ghazi Mia was a revered Muslim figure. By the 12th century, he had become famous as a warrior. Devotees visit this darga in order to seek the blessings of the revered saint. Ye darga Sharif jo Hazrat-e Masood Ghazi rahmatullah taala le ka hai, astana hai. 
यहाँ पर हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई हर हर किस्म के लोग यहाँ आते हैं और अपनी मन्नत मुरादी पूरी करके जाते हैं यहाँ मुस्लिम से ज़्यादा हिंदू भी आते हैं और अपनी मन्नत मुरादे पूरी करके जाते हैं Dargahs and tombs of Sufi saints have been popular pilgrimage sites of both Hindus and Muslims. The teachings of Sufism have always upheld unity and togetherness among the various communities. The shrine showcases religious tolerance by drawing people from different faiths who leave aside their differences and pray for peace and harmony. The dargah of Hazrat Sayyid Salar Masood Ghazi is a perfect example of communal harmony that is witnessed throughout the length and breadth of our country. It also observes Urs festival annually when people from different religious communities throng the dargah to seek the blessings. The solidarity among the different religions has remained a hallmark of India's unity since time immemorial. हिंदुस्तान के सरहदी इलाका बहराइच में तकरीबन एक हज़ार साल से जायद का वक्फा हो रहा है ये आस्थान आलिया पूरे हिंदुस्तान में ही नहीं बल्कि पूरे दुनिया में मोहब्बत यकजहती का पैगाम दे रही है ये वो दर है जहां बड़े बड़े बादशाहों ने नवाबीन ने बुजुर्गान दीन ने आ करके अपनी अकीदत की जबी कब की है सूफिज्म इज अ रिच एंड डायनेमिक ट्रेडिशन दैट स्टिल इंस्पायर्स पीपल एंड ऑफर्स अ मैसेज ऑफ होप इट टेल्स पीपल दैट दे आर ऑल रिलेटेड एंड दे हैव द एबिलिटी टू मेक द वर्ल्ड अ मोर लविंग एंड पीसफुल प्लेस थ्रू इट्स पोएट्री म्यूजिक एंड लिटरेचर इट इज बिलीव that the sufi saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty handed from here and now some of the stories that made news recently thousands of pilgrims arrived at the sabri mala temple to pay obeisances to lord ayappa as its doors were opened on november 18 The devotees gathered for the Hari Var Sanam ritual at the Sabri Mala Shri Dharma Sastha Temple, commencing a two-month-long pilgrimage to the hill shrine. The reopening of the temple also signaled the start of the two-month-long pilgrimage season and the beginning of the Makar Vilakku celebration. The Sabri Mala pilgrimage is one of the most important Hindu pilgrimages in India. The temple is dedicated to Lord Ayappa, and millions of pilgrims visit the temple every year. This year's pilgrimage season is expected to be a special one as it will be the first pilgrimage season since the Supreme Court of India lifted the ban on women of reproductive age from entering the temple. The Kerala government and the Travancore Devaswam board are committed to ensuring that all the pilgrims have a safe and comfortable pilgrimage. The government of Jammu and Kashmir has started beautification of Handwara town in Kupwara district of Kashmir. A large scale renovation and decoration project has been taken up in the town. The construction of the work costing rupees 2 crores will be completed in the next 2 months. This developmental project aims to provide convenience to both locals and tourists. The project includes rehabilitation of footpaths, installation of street lights and creation of vendor zones. After the abrogation of Article 370, big sporting events are being hosted by schools and government institutions of JNK. The 67th National School Games, organized by the government of JNK, are being held in Jammu at the University of Jammu Hall. 387 girls and boys from all over the country are participating in the national games. The University of Jammu hosted the games of judo on November 18 and later hosted fencing games. The children participated in the judo competition with full enthusiasm and determination. JNK is crafting space on the country's sports map. These tournaments tap talents at the grassroots level. This is important because children of 14 years come and participate here. 
If they win medals here, they will be motivated to play these games in the future. This tournament hones their skill and also gives them a lot of experience, said Rajesh Dhar, an official of the judo games. India is a country where Sufism has not only flourished, but it has also become a means of unifying various religious communities. Even today, the teachings of these saints influence people's lives, as shown at the shrines of Hazrat Jahangir Piran and Hazrat Burahuddin, where people of all religions gather to seek the holy saints' blessings. Take a look. In many parts of the nation, one could easily find instances of people living in harmony and peace with one another. A prime example is the shrines of Hazrat Jahangir Piran and Hazrat Burhauddin, both of which are located in Inmul Narva, a village in Kothur Mandal in Mehboob Nagar district of Telangana state. The sacred shrines have acquired a special place in the hearts of people from all walks of life. Both the saints had travelled all the way from Baghdad, Iraq's capital, to preach Islam and spread the message of love during their lives. I am a pro-Indian, after then I am a Muslim. Uh, during my childhood days, I am coming in this Darga, Jahangir Baba, I am seeing Hindu, Muslim and all religion, religion is coming here. All faith is here. There is no, nothing divided here and there. All are good person. I am seeing from my childhood days. And my four fathers are also coming here. In Jahangir Baba Darga here. As one of the most visited dargahs by Hyderabadis and devotees from all across India, as well as countries such as Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia and others, it has become one of the busiest pilgrimage centres as people believe their desires will be granted here. Located at the outskirts of Telangana, it is one such dargah where Hindus too visit in large numbers and offer prayers. There are several explanations for why the Darga remains vacant at night. It is believed that Hazrat Jahangir Piran dislikes being disturbed at night and prefers to dwell in silence. Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai, every Muslim people come here. And every Muslim people come here, Allah Pak, who are here, they come here to pray for you. And this is a very important Darga. और यहाँ पे जो है सरकार के चाहने वाले को देखने से आते हैं सरकार धनी पीरों के पास आपके जो भी मन्नत देके आते हैं उनके मन्नत मुरादे पूरे होते हैं। People who visit this darga have great faith in the two saints and believe that their wishes will be granted. Many people talk about miracles. Thousands of people from all across the state and country attend the annual Urs festival of the darga. It evolved over the years from a modest darga with few people living around it. Since ages, Sufi saints like Hazrat Jahangir Piran and Hazrat Burahuddin have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country. And their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the thread of secularism. And now, some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Yokohama City is a popular tourist destination and intends to rise its tourist influx and make the city more sustainable and smart. To realize this vision, Yokohama City organized Y-SHIP Global Event aimed at establishing an innovative and smart city in collaboration with startups from across the world and companies from Asia, Africa's emerging countries. Mayor Takeharu Yamanaka explained the history of Yokohama and appealed for cooperation of participating countries to realize smart city vision. Yokohama was founded in 160 years ago when it was founded in Japan to develop new skills and new skills. The world has been a big issue of climate change, climate change, and new innovations. The world's leaders, the 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 leaders. In this event, various collaborations were authorized. Japanese incinerator company has established a branch in Philippines 
to develop its business further. Participants from Philippines admired Y-Ship's achievement. Yokohama City has already confirmed its charm and now prepping to grow up as a more sustainable, innovative and livable city. Y-Ship was indeed a launching event to a glorious future. Motorbike giant Yamaha Motor released its most progressive bike, Tracer 9 GT+. Installed with cruise control system using millimeter radio wave rudder, the bike supports rider to avoid dangerous accidents when other vehicle applies sudden brakes or stops suddenly. 通常オートバイはアクセルをライダーが操作しながらもしくはブレーキを操作しながらあ前の車にこう追従していくとライダーが常に操作をずっとし続けるさらに加えてオートバイはライダー自身がバランスを取りながら走行していますそこの部分の一
with an attempt to provide a platform to the differently able children to showcase their brilliance and expertise. It is an attempt to bring the world closer through various activities. Disability is part of the diversity of human experience. Functional limitations manifest in the life cycle of every one of us. The extent to which children with disabilities are able to lead happy lives depends on our own willingness to confront barriers to change. Anjali International Children's Festival is a celebration which goes beyond the frontiers of religious and regional boundaries to bear witness to humanitarian love and the spirit of togetherness. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback on myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.